YouTube. All right, if you guys are joining the replay, this is my 10 a.m. Monday morning PST show where I hang out with my viewers, my tater tots. Not sure what we call you guys, but that's who I hang out with. Um, okay, found you guys. Why am I sitting in a humongous mess? It is because Craft Your Stash starts today. Um, okay, if you're new here and you're new around here, basically I have a craft membership where I have a lot of files and we are working on coming out with a ton of crafting elements for digital crafting. Um, with that, every three months we launch new stuff. Today is the day that all the new stuff for the next season just came out. So for the first two weeks of the launch, I will try to use that stuff, but also we try to craft our stash. We've only done this twice, and last time it got kind of taken over by me needing to like halt everything and tell my story about me and my relationship with Cricut. So if you want to watch that, it's a long long story series but i did it but this time around i'm actually going i pulled everything that i had sitting that have i've had for literally like almost probably a couple years some of this stuff some of it is new but it's like girl you gotta do something with this or it's got to go so craft your stash is a printable where'd it go where's my i don't even have it i'm just gonna show you guys my stash today and i want you guys to give me all the ideas i already have a lot of ideas but there's some stuff i really just want you guys to tell me like what you think i should do with it who you think it would be good for um because i'm trying to just use this stuff and get rid of it because I've had this stuff lying around to do videos with and literally have done nothing with it. And I'm like, I really think that would be a great video, but if I could just film it during Craft Your Stash in a live video, then kill two birds with one stone. It's on the internet, it's out of my life. I give it away or I keep it for prop, whatever I need. Okay, good morning. Where's everyone joining us from? Let's say hi to everybody. Lila, Allison, Erica, Leon, Lin, Leonor, sorry if I said that wrong, Royal Outcast, Josie, Shamika, Lisa, hey, Heather, Grace and Grit, Dalila, <laughs> I can't read, Nay, Erica, Beverly, Shelly, Melissa, Sam, uh, and now you guys are repeating yourselves. Jessica, Julie, sorry if I miss you guys. It's getting into the comments now. So, welcome. Where are y'all from? Hey, Becky, Melissa, Natasha, Linda, Martha, Stephanie, Shamika. I got both of my, I got Stephanie from Crafty Mommy Bees here. Lucy, Heather, I think I'm repeating myself now. Elle, welcome from San Jose. We got lots of California folk up in here. We need to do a get together as soon as our state gets its life together and stops closing down. Um, the mask mandate is back. I'm over it. I'm. You guys might hate me, but I'm not wearing a mask anymore. I'm done. I am done. Like, done. Okay, done. <laughs> I walked in to get some water from the gas station today, and all the employees were wearing masks, and I was like, I'm done. If you don't want my business, I'm done. Okay, so. Um, Good morning, watching from Delano, California. How many California people do we have? I think we need to do a California tour, a crafting tour. Um, I only wear it when I go to work, I'm done too. Yeah, I'm so done, like I don't even go places unless I have to and I'm done to the places I need to go. So anyways, California people feel me, like every other state is like, just wear the mask, close it. I'm like, you don't realize we have been in lockdown for over a year and a few months. Like, what is it? June, July, a month and a couple years. I don't know. I'm just, I'm loving the new designs on the website. Thank you. I, oh, I feel like I'm yelling. Can you guys hear me okay if I just talk like this? I need to get used to studio audio. Um, because it's not going to be super echoey in here and I don't think I have to yell. Um, yeah, so the new website, I am slowly converting all of the old files over to the new system. So you guys are going to see duplicates of SVGs. I got 
the crochet files and all the other crafting files pretty set up but there's like all these steps i have to go through that i have to remember like publish make them live publish so all the links should work if it's up but it's just taking a second to remember like oh you just updated all this page make sure you sync it to let it's a lot of background noise background hoopla but it definitely is going to make my life so much easier i was able to transpose almost all big truck <laughs> beeping big truck why do you have to back up through the the whole neighborhood why i don't get it anyways beep beep i can't decide what to use my birthday gift card on for your website Ooh, i don't know i would go with whatever you need what what are you creating um where's the new mickey ear sublimation uh what mickey ear sublimation the mickey ear sublimation which one i'm i'm not sure see we everything i tried to showcase last time came out already and now i'm going to talk about the new files so we have tons of new things um i've got and some of it I'm going to be waiting for a couple months to craft with you guys because the Glowforge Mickey ears are insane, but they're all villains themed. So those are going to be a part of October. Um, they are so cool. And Devlin, uh, Katie from the Devlin Diaries, she's here right now. She helped me create all of those. So she sent me, I don't, you guys haven't even seen them, but i can't wait to share with you guys i'm going to show full tutorials on how to um like assemble them and put them together and what you can do with them there are sublimation files for some reason if you go to the what's new page all the sublimation files are there for some reason my sublimation page is only loading 12 designs and i'm working on getting the kinks out which if you guys don't know i'm trying to master wix so i can help teach you guys wix and running into some hiccups on the back end of these dynamic pages is really helping me really master like okay you might run into this issue you might run into this ish this issue sorry if you guys don't know i have invisalign now too so my mouth is really dry and i talk with a lisp sometimes but it's okay um i love the crochet i'd love to learn can you do a video like you did the sewing yes actually we are in the hunt for the perfect crocheter to do our 101 series so just letting you guys know that putting that out there the last time i put something out there i got one of you guys to come back to me like i i, I know if you're here and you're my ghost writer um i'm not putting you on the i am putting you on the back burner but just know that last time i said i'd write a book if i had a ghost writer a ghost writer reached out to me who's amazing and so i was like okay i think that's a sign i actually need to write a book eventually but not at the moment i'm still working on stuff but anyways we're working on finding a crochet artist to film a 101 series because i don't know how to crochet i do i know how to do a two two crochets type things i don't know how to read a pattern so um if you are a crocheter email us and you would be interested in being on camera it's a lot of work, but it's really fun and we pay you to do it and you get to come to the studio and do all that, but you literally have to be a master crocheter and I want to see your work and all this stuff. Like April level of sewing, that's what we're looking for for that. I love learning from you. I and I would love to learn it, but I just I'm I'm spread a little thin here. So, um, but if you guys didn't notice, we are launching new files for all different types of digital crafting. So printable patterns, um, planners, stickers. There's a lot of noise going on outside. Planners, stickers, um, tons of stuff. So lots of different crafting, different things. I stink at crochet. All right, Erica, we'll try to find another 101 series you can teach. Um, I love all your stuff on your site. I would love to change to my Disney Visa card. How do I do that on the site? Good question. Just email our members, um, peeps. You can also, well, it's member email our members email and we will get back to you on all those details of payments and stuff. Found them even more than what Tiff previewed. They are amazing. Yeah, I tried to put the um, stop on Tiffany sharing what we're coming out with because 
I wanted this day to be exciting. I want the day that they all come out to be really exciting. And then we have three months to craft with all this stuff. So um, now I'm gonna get moving on the villains and all that um, while all the next round is in the design world. I'm not gonna let any of that get leaked until November 1st, okay? So yes, Tiff is the best. Um, she's new here, so to her, you know, when I'm working on something and designing something, it's very exciting. And so she wanted to share those things, but I, I was like, well, we've worked on a lot of stuff and we're working with other people. So we gotta, we gotta only promote that stuff because my members can't get to that stuff yet. So working on that and it's gonna be good. All the banners, can we just talk about the banners really quick? So if you guys don't know, um, this is why I love how crafty you guys are. And when I go to hire somebody, I now am like, who needs a job? Who needs a spot? Because Jess has been a loyal follower for a long time and I hired her a while ago. I can't even remember when I hired you, Jess, but um, she came on as a designer, but I asked her to start these paper crafts and she has just taken on paper crafting like crazy. So. The banners are insane. So we're doing banners for every season, like every theme you need a banner for. And then we will add on, we'll add on treat boxes and we'll add on um, goodie bags and different things for paper crafting. So paper crafting is gonna be insane for the members. Um, and then also I just hired on another paper crafting party person as kind of like a uh, like a filler in for different really big party themes. So I'm really excited. We've got some big plans for that. But she did the, um, if you guys didn't notice, the villains and the Oogie Boogie inspired banners are done by her, Melissa. And um, so now we have two designers plus me working on sites files for the site so me getting the site easily manipulatable has been my goal for the last two weeks straight like stayed in bed all week while i was um and then dustin's been gone all week so i literally like every minute i had i was converting files over for you guys so i love the luau banner yeah and i love that um she brings them to life so you can see them because files look funny until something is brought to life. So I debated sharing the pictures of the finished Mickey ears for the um, Glowforge ears, but I really, really wanna, those are gonna be featured in October. So loving all the new stuff, y'all rocked it out, thank you. Um, there's also a doll pattern that I converted into an SVG. This is a free doll pattern that is available on the internet so if you click and you just want the printable it goes right to her blog but i created the svg out of it and then i also took it and turned it into a little witch doll sublimation file so if you sublimate her onto fabric and cut her out and sew her she'll make a little witch um if i had more time i probably would have seen if um april or one of you guys could sew that up for me so now that i'm working so far ahead i'm gonna be reaching out to anybody that i see that follows me that is really good and ordering stuff from you guys and going hey can i buy these finished from you um so that we can actually show them off finished um because i really love designing for you guys it's one of my favorite parts um love the channel so much thank you okay so this is my stash. I wanted to go through what I have lying around and then you guys tell me like if you guys even want to see me try to attempt it or if I should just get rid of it. Um, okay, we'll start with this bin right here since it's the closest. This is Strata Cups. I've got a bunch of them left over. Um, not left over, but like I just bought the whole like kit of the colors to try to do things with. So I actually have a ton of tumblers. So I don't know if I want to do like a tumbler live where I do all of them or I've got they're all like the colors that remind me of the princesses so maybe like a princess tumbler theme maybe I save the black one for a villain's theme for 
October or something. Um, I have so many Strata Cups need to use. Okay, so what do we do with the Strata Cups? Do we make koozies for them? Do we vinyl them? Do we bling and vinyl them? Do we koozie and vinyl? I think I need to make a really good koozie template for the large ones. These ones are straight, so I don't know about a koozie for these, but maybe, maybe something fun for these that goes along with this size. Vinyl them, bling and vinyl, all the above tay. Yeah, so you could vinyl bling and make koozies, but I don't know about koozies for these. I kind of want to come up with something that can, I be you just vinyling these would be super easy because they're straight, just covering them in vinyl. But then I also want to do like a decal on them as well. So we have the Strata koozies. Then we have the <laughs> Target koozies, which I do need to still run by Target to see if they can we can find them or get our hands on them but i have a green one a blue one a dark blue one a pink one and a gold one and i bought every color because they remind me of the princesses so when I, every when something comes in like many many colors tay buys all the colors because they remind her of the princesses and then she doesn't have time to do them but i also have this one that i want to do as ariel and i have this one these are both starbucks cups so I buy Starbucks cups. This is the one I bought from the reels that I did. I literally bought this for the reels because the reels gave me an, an excuse to buy it because I really wanted it. Did I need another cup? No. Do I even like the Target, the Starbucks plastic cups? No, but these are so cute. So wanted to aerial these up and put some bling on them. We need glitter, maybe some water slides. Um, so the, the water slide works good if you epoxy over it and I don't do epoxy, so I won't be doing water slides, but maybe I will send some off to some of my epoxiers and have them do it. Um, I hope they still have some. I know if not, I will, I'm drinking out of one right now, um, which I vinyled up. So easy to vinyl up these, but also, um, I want to find so I was at where did we go shopping um we went back to school shopping and I was at JC Penny JC Penny was it JC Penny's yes they have some cups but they're like $22 so I'm not about that life I put the patterned vinyl on the skinny stratas and glittered the bottom half like ombre style Ooh, that sounds fun mm-hmm I do hate vinyl Katie and that's why you're gonna see a lot of these are because I just haven't gotten around to cutting vinyl for them because I don't like vinyl. So if we can HTV some stuff up, that would be fun. I have this little trinket box um, that I could put HTV on or I have a ton of vinyl so I could just use vinyl this week and be done with it. But what does this box remind you of? And also, I also said I was gonna be doing gifts for people. So things like this, perfect for a gift something that I could put like maybe someone's name on with a onesie in it or something like that I also have the whole we tried to HTV the last craft year stash a ton of stuff and I still have a ton of little kids shirts and onesies and stuff like that so anything that would go along with this um nothing's wrong with vinyl L it's just frustrating sometimes okay so we have this what do we want to do with this um we're officially sublimation snobs i know seriously also i got these really big they're called cows i can't remember what it's short for but they're the the carts that they put the chromebooks in at school and they push them around and they have all the dividers in them long story short i got them from my dad who got them from my uncle for because he recycles electronics. So I got some, I got two of those. I'm turning one of them into a sublimation cart. So I can roll it in here to demo, but then I can roll it out into the warehouse to sublimate on in a well ventilated area. Um, okay. The next thing that I might, I might hold off on this one until I feel like I'm trying to make room so I don't have to be, have my laptop in front of me. So I might hold off on this one till our Christmas craft your stash because <laughs> this was supposed to be done for last Christmas, but I didn't get it. So this is 
coasters from Chichen Itza, which is in Mexico. And I always try but never succeed at when I get people souvenirs from where we go, I want it to be something really unique. And what I planned to do with these was I was going to make memory memorial rem remembering re I don't want to say memorial because it sounds like we died but remembrance ornaments of our trip so I wanted to put photos on the back of these with like some vinyl or some like cute little things and make ornaments out of the coasters and then this would be left over but I don't know or or I could just keep them coasters and still put the photos on the back so when you know you can look at the photos but then you can still utilize them as coasters but which would mean they wouldn't need to be for christmas so if you guys want to see me do that i could do that um do you have a video on sublimation off gassing or know a good one i don't so i'm just trying to be super cautious with it as soon as i realized it off gases that's when i kind of took precautions and said nope no sublimation in the office move it all out and then we were overheating out there, so moved back in, kept sublimation out. Um, okay, the next thing, and I have to finish these, are these little ring trays from the dollar spot at Target. Even though I think this one broke, I literally freak, since I got my new ring, um, now I actually care a lot about it, so I need to make a little tray for my ring but then I have extra so I can do a couple extra ones so I can give it as like a little I love little things like this for if you're going to a wedding and or bridal shower and you're just giving a gift card to give like something tiny like a little ring tray for the bride but that plus the gift card so then you still have that little element of I love you enough to DIY something for you but I'm really busy so I got you a gift card but I also can make this ahead of time and have it in my stash and it's not overwhelming okay um tame weedo what <laughs> my brother took off the book covers of the illustrated harry potter books and saved them to do something with okay that i have bujo covers for my samples that i want to do something with so what you figure out he's gonna do let me know because it might be something i want to do um the off gassing as long as you have an open space should be fine there's a smell at times but have been doing it and have had zero issues but i do open my window and i do have fan so rebecca just because you don't have an issue doesn't mean that it's not an issue with other people just like epoxy takes a long time for some people to react to and short time for other people to react to it's all about the toxins you actually have in your body and i've done a lot of research on toxicity and toxins and fleshing out toxins so the more toxins you have in your body the faster you can build up a reaction because you're toxin ball i'll call it a ball like your level of toxins that you can your body is always flushing toxins out i know this is a really dumb science ex example but i want to give you guys just an example of why epoxy and sublimation and all that kind of affects different people differently so we are exposed to toxins every single day what we eat what we breathe what we're around what we touch what we put on our body what we put in our body all the things our body can only handle so much on our liver flushes it out if we put more toxins in than we are taking out we develop what's called toxicity and there are people who have mold toxicity there are people who have chemical toxicity but our bodies kind of react very similar all of our bodies kind of go into this we're sick attack get rid of it get it out and it's why we start to develop a cough or a headache or pain it's our body telling us get it out now so i've so long story short if you don't have even though that was a really long story if you don't have issues with it it doesn't mean that it's not an issue it but i my body because i've developed an allergic reaction to chemicals now i can almost instantly tell when a chemical is not going to work well with my body a little bit it takes a little longer now that i've been adding things to my life that continually flush my toxins out but i do need to do more of like getting into a steam room and a sauna and all, all those things to and massages and all that just to get those toxins out of my body does that make sense so um any mods in here uh let me make some of you guys moderators um thank you for deleting let me block him can i block him 
I should be able to block him. Uh, let's see. We're going to hide the user on this channel so he can still see us, but we can't see him. Okay. Stephanie's here. I'm going to make, um, Lisa, are you, okay. Um, add moderator. Uh, anyone else want to be a moderator who's always here? Tammy, I'm making you a moderator. Um, Melissa Corbin, I'm making you a moderator. It doesn't mean you have to do anything. It just means you're going to be blue in the comments. But then if you do see, oh, April, how are you not a moderator? Adding you, we haven't done this in a while. Um, Erica, you're here all the time. I'm going to make you a moderator. Okay. There, I've got a few of you that are moderators. Look at all that blue. Okay. Me, sorry, Barbara, you are always here. I'm gonna make you a moderator. Uh, thank you for reporting. Uh, Jake from State Farm to the rescue. Wow, you know you're a, a fan. Laura, I'm gonna make you a moderator actually. Um, when you know Stephanie's name from Amazon, <laughs> which is Jake from State Farm. So thank you for blocking him. Um, is Tiff here? Hey Tiff, are you here? Welcome, welcome. All right, so, okay, we have all of that. Any any of those really exciting? You just, just tell me which one is the most exciting to you when you see it, or like, just say, I'm really excited to see this one. Okay, I'm really excited to do this one. I bought this wood house set. Uh, oh, I'm so excited for this one. Um, I bought this wood house set on at Target. And I think I bought it before the Christmas season and wanted to make a little Christmas village. But now I'm trying to hold off Christmas crafts until the next craft year stash. And so I was like, oh, little haunted houses, little haunted house village. But then, wait, there's more. I was thinking, flip it and then make it a Christmas village. So one side, a Halloween village, the other side, a Christmas village. Because you guys know I'm all about the transitional holiday decor that you can pull out at Halloween and keep it until Christmas so that you don't have to decorate 8 million times. So you guys, you guys good with that one? I'm so excited for that one. Um, and I'm hoping that Target will have more of this stuff soon so you guys can do it too. The goal here is to get rid of all the stuff that I've bought from Target so that when I'm done, I can buy more stuff from Target and I can move forward with that. Okay, the next thing I have is this famous hat. It's um, from Disneyland. It's actually from Disney World, but I got it from um, our discount Facebook group. A couple other things I got from her. Uh, these wishables, and I wanna make Mickey ear wishables out of these, but I also debated, which I think it's a little too big. I have this little donut purse that we glittered a long time ago like a long time ago and I debated turning this into Mickey ears with this and putting a bow on it but I feel like they're a little too small so if I were to make this but it would be so cute because it's a donut and then it's then it's those and they're all snacks you know and then put a bow on it so debated that but I also could put these just on Mickey ears. What do you guys think? Backpack or ears? I feel like have killing two birds with one stone is better. Um, wishables are, I don't even know, uh, stuffed animals, little baby stuffed animals that they sell at the park. I They were in the clearance at the clearance store. But these are little Mickey waffles and they have little butter heads. So they're so cute. I'd love to make the paper craft Christmas village. Yes, um, and that's actually something that we're gonna be working on with Jess is tapping into how do we make more like villages and my favorite thing is like a paper craft that folds up so that it's flat all year but then it pops up into something. So um, ears, backpack, they are for dog toys. Got it, oh and I have three so did, they're not. Did they? If they're a dog toy they have to squeak. Love that two for one. Oh my gosh, using wishables for ears is such a good idea. Yeah, that's what I do is I go and I look for little things in the discount store that I could turn into ears. Um, the tag is like eight sizes as big as the, is, I, was, I don't know, I was gonna say eight times as big as the actual thing. I don't know what these are for. They're not for dogs, I don't think, because they should squeak if they're for dogs. Hold on, wishables are the magic of Disney parks come to life. Let these soft, huggable, 
friends join you on all your adventures and see what magic you can make. That's what a wishable is. So we have wishables. Um, they're just collectibles. Okay. And then of course there's me who's like turn them into something so they're no longer worth what they would be worth from the park. But there's so much park stuff. Okay. The next thing I have is I gave one of these to Dustin. So I have another one of these, but I want to make a hubby and wifey. These are double insulated Moscow Mule mugs because we drink Moscow Mule so much that I'm so excited for Dustin to come home though because then we can have, I like, I want to have Moscow Mule at night, like almost every night and is that a problem? But I didn't do it while he was gone because it's no fun to have a Moscow Mule while you're by yourself. So anyways, uh, these. I tried making a shadow type one to display in front windows, very large, yes. Uh... They're dust collectors then, unless you make something from them. Seriously, unless they're like sitting on my shelf as a cute decor, I uh, I have no purpose for them. So either I need to make them into something that looks cute in the backdrop of my video, or I need to give them away, or I need to make something. So that's, oops, dropped it. That's what's happening today, is any of this stuff that's left over after these, last, these two weeks, gone. It's gone bye-bye. Okay, I need you guys' help with this, but well, I do need your help with this because there's a lot of them. Um, and this probably won't go bye-bye just because I bought it for the sole reason that I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But when I need it, I'm going to I'm gonna love it. So this is the Thomas Kincaid Disney calendar. And I learned this hack from my aunt when one of my aunts bought a Thomas Kincaid painting or like a framed picture for like a hundred dollars my other aunt bought a calendar and framed the picture for like 20 bucks and my other man my other aunt was like kind of mad she was like what i paid so much money for mine just like well be smarter so i'm not a huge fan of thomas kincaid but i do love his disney stuff because it's disney and it's art but in the art world I don't know. I, I I don't know. They're in the art world, Thomas Kincaid's not considered an actual artist. So I was like, why? I don't get it. But anyways, he kind of markets himself on being a Christian. So a lot of people buy his work because he's a Christian, which obviously I'm a Christian. So I don't think that bothers me. However, I don't think you should buy someone's art just because they're I don't, I, you can, I don't know. He's a great painter. He was a great painter. Okay. So anyways, frame them. So I actually that got this on Amazon. I was going to do it as an Amazon live, but it has Ariel. It has Cinderella. It has Tiana. And there's a couple different versions of this. Um, it has Beauty and the Beast. It has Winnie the Pooh. It has Mulan. Peter Pan. I think I got this because of the Peter Pan one. I love Peter Pan. Uh, Minnie in the shopping district. Uh, what else? Aurora. Who is the next? Like, a ton of them. Snow White. Like, there's so many pictures in this. Lion King. Tangled. And that's it. So, I there are a lot of things that I want to do with them. Some, them, some of them I was thinking I could make koozies out of and put laminate vinyl over them so they're waterproof so I could make koozies. Another thing that I really have been wanting to do is a laptop case for my laptop. Tiff has a really cute one that she got on Amazon, but everything I have has to be DIY'd because that's just how it has to be. So I got this one to put pictures in, but also to decorate it. So um, I would, it's not as wide as this, so I might have to make like a collage out of it, but to make a Disney Thomas and Cade collage that goes inside of it, and then maybe bling the outside of it a bit, and then also put some of our Disney photos in it. But it's a clear case that I got on Amazon a long time ago for an Amazon Live before I realized how much I would not be doing Amazon Lives. Um, make a puzzle out of them, that's smart. Uh, yes, laptop cover, great as scrapbook pages. Oh, and that is one thing I thought of too, is doing a Bujo cover out of some, one of them, uh, Mod Podging onto the black Bujo. Um, so many ideas and there's so many pictures in here, so I don't have to just stick to one idea. And I'm not gonna get rid of that if it doesn't work out, cause there's a lot of ideas. Make a puzzle out of, oh, I read that. Um, 
Great for, uh, we got a new creeper, block him. What about using those to make shoes? Um, Tiff, those are really thick, uh, but maybe, maybe. It's a thick paper. We'll see. I'll think about how that could work, but that would be really cool. Hmm. I don't know. I, I'm now, now I have the ideas going because how could we convert it into fabric? We could sublimate it onto fabric. Definitely could put those into files, but they'd be personal use files only. Okay, the next thing I have is a Pixar mug. Got this in our discount store. Want to bling this up and he'll be a backdrop item for Pixar summer. But I also have all of these. So this is all kind of Pixar summer stuff. So I'm debating like, do I hold it until next year for Pixar summer? Or do I just get it done? Cause there's gonna be more Pixar stuff, but this is really like really fun stuff. So I went to box lunch and got all, oh, look at the little wishables charms. Okay, I need to put this with, why? Oh my gosh, I can't, I forgot I bought all this stuff. Oh my gosh, I have to make stuff out of this because I just wasted money doing this, but I got them. I can't even remember. I was gonna bling up jewelry for a video and I got all these little Pixar charms and different charms from Box Lunch. And I think I had like extreme coupons. So I kind of bought a lot of them. Nope, that's different. That's something else. So I have, oh wait, no, okay, I didn't buy that many. Ooh, I was like, really, you bought this much? Okay, so I didn't buy that much stuff. I bought four little things of jewelry, and these two are Pixar, and this is a Wishables charm, so I'm thinking what I can do for the backpack is replace some of the um, zipper pulls with the Wishables. Okay, we gotta do that. Sorry, the backpack is in play. I've got to do the backpack wishables. And then I have this cute little aerial fork, which I don't even think is cute. I think I planned to DIY it somehow to make it a lot cuter, but I don't know why I would have bought this because I don't think it's cute. It's like, it's got like black pearls all over it and not like in a cute way. They're just not that cute. And then I have some jewelry blanks that I, just jewelry does not excite me to DIY, but maybe if you guys can come up with an idea, these are literally stamping blanks, but I wanted to bling them and I can maybe make my own like zipper pools with these. And then I also, I think I got this. Where did I get this? Oh, Disney. I think I got this in the, the, the parks the parks clearance Facebook group, I think, or somebody gave, I, maybe I bought, I don't know where I got it, but, oh, you know what? I think I got this at the outlet, the Disney outlet. It's just Mickey ears and it's keychain and I want to bling it for my keys because if there's Mickey ears on it, like literal Mickey ears, I feel like I have to have it. Um, love discovering treasures that I bought. I don't, I'm like, what are you doing with your life? You have no time for this. You literally have to create a whole series around it just to get it done. So that's why I'm here for you guys. We're going to do this together. So are you guys pulling your stuff out? Get a bin. Just get a big old bin. And when I'm live doing some of this stuff, you guys go. You don't have to go live. You can if you want. But um, tag me that you're doing crafts with me. Okay, so we have the Pixar bundle. We were going to up redo the up ears. I'm not super inspired by this right now because I feel like I'm pixar out because of all the Pixar stuff we just did. So I may hold on to this till next summer and just keep it in the Pixar stash. Um, so I'm not super excited about that. But the other stuff, I am. Jewelry. I also have this red bin, which I debated keeping around for Christmas. I also have another one and two pink ones. So they might be Valentine's Day stuff. But you can never have too many bins. I have everything in a bin. I'm going to start tomorrow. Yay! I love the idea of making gifts for people with the stash. Yes. So the printable says for, right? Who you're making these for. Okay. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Uh, okay. Plaid sent me these a while ago. I have not been that excited about them. They are wood, fork, spoon, and knife. It's a fork, spoon, and a knife. And it's wood. And I'm guessing they sell this at Michael's or somewhere, but Plaid sent it to me in the 
box and I thought, okay, I need to know what I'm going to do with it for me to get excited. I think, what do I do with this? Um, Forky from Toy Story. Now I'm excited. Okay. Uh, yes, please. And we can make, but it also could be a dingle hopper. Why does the fork have to be the main star of the show? Um, kitchen decor. Yes. I want to chalk it up, but I want to craft my stash in your studio stuff. It's so beautiful, right? So forky or dingle hopper, forky or dingle hopper. We can make like a little ratatouille knife and then the spoon. I don't know what to do with the spoon. So I'm going to put this aside until we get an idea for it. Uh, I got this welcome and home sign from Target that I was going to do some floral patterned vinyl something on it and make a hidden Mickey on this one and not sure where I'm going to put it in my house though. So this, I'm just going to doctor up something if I get it done, figure out how to cut the fork part out of the spoon. the fork part out of the spoon. Oh, like cut it out so that it becomes a fork. So I get another fork. Oh, like that. Oh, I could just paint it. I could turn the spoon into Forky and paint it so that he looks like a fork. And then because he's a spork, right? He's really a spork. And then Dingle Hopper really is a fork. So got it. Do I want to cut wood? Ooh, I don't even know. Um, I mean, convert spook to spork. Spoon to spork, got it. Okay, I'm with you, I'm with you. Now what do we do with the knife? Give me an idea for the knife and then I'll be excited. Um, spoonful of sugar? Okay, no wait, we, we got the spoon and the fork. We need something with the knife. We need a knife project. Originally, I was just gonna make them into a kitchen sign, but we can't do that, that's not fun. Um, but I have the knife. Not sure what I want to do with the knife. So, but spoonful of sugar would be really cute too. But then we would lose Forky. I don't even know. I still want to make Forky. Okay, this bin, I'm debating just throwing it away. <laughs> this bin has literally been, no pun intended, in my stash since, ooh, I don't even know, like for so long. It's spray painted, like back when I was spray painting my bins. It is, first of all, I'd ha, I don't, first of all, I sized it to Briley like years ago. I didn't even think about that. She's grown a ton, so it's not gonna work at the size that I cut it, so it would have to be for like Olivia or something. But I have a ton of fabric, so I want to do this so bad, but part of me just goes, just buy the dang mermaid tail. So I wanted to make a DIY mermaid tail. When Briley was really wanting one, they were really expensive and we just could not afford it. We also didn't have a pool, so I just never did it. But we have a pool now and she's older. When she was little, I was like, then I'm gonna have to literally watch you like a hawk because I don't want you swimming around in a mermaid tail because you're gonna drown. And not that I wouldn't watch her in this anymore, but she's older now, so she would be more confident to just go swim in it by herself. And then I would freak out because they'd be like, no, it's a mermaid. Anyways, so actually for just for fun, let me look at how little she was when I sized this. So I already have it mapped out around her little legs. And this is the top of it. And this is the bottom. So she's, yeah, she's much taller than that now. So this would have to be for another little girl, but I basically just stuck it on her backwards, pinned it, and then I need to sew it. But I should just get it done. Like I should just try it. There's no shame in just sewing it together. Um, and then I was gonna get like the flipper tail and make a cover for that. So mermaid tail, should I do it? I was so worried about getting those mermaid tails too. Yeah, that's why I secretly never got one too. Cause I'm, I was like, I don't wanna do that. I don't want you to swim in a mermaid tail. Okay, the next thing I got, which he doesn't really need much, but I did want to bling out his ears. I got this little, he's an antenna. I got both of these from the discount Facebook group. Um, does anybody know the name of the Facebook group? I'm totally blinking on it and I feel bad because you guys should uh, be a part of it if you like to buy Disney merch at a cheaper price. 
So it's a girl that secret shop, not secret shop, she just shops for you at the discount Disney store in Florida. But these are antenna toppers and these, this is, I think this is a Park Pal or it might be an antenna topper too. It's like the thing that you squeeze and it hugs on, but it could be so cute for a straw topper. So um, I wanted to get him so that he could go like this. And then I wanted to bling him so that he was even cuter because you can't just put him on a straw without DIYing him. But look it, that's so fun. I think I need to make a Lion King cup for this. One of the colors needs to be a Lion King koozie or Lion King cup. So I got him for that. And then I got these because they would be cute straw toppers too. And they already have a hole, but you just gotta shove the hole through the end. And then I was gonna bling them. It's a little lemon Mickey with the slice out of his ear and a watermelon, but the little seeds are Mickey heads. So um, love the straw topper idea, right? So fun. I'm always looking for like little things that I can just convert. Okay, this is just an ornament. It's a Jojo Siwa boot, whatever, Converse. And I just wanted to bling it her up a little bit. That will be a gift for somebody that was supposed to be for last year. Uh, this D for our life, for my, my house, because our last name starts with a D. Um, I was gonna put some flowers on it, maybe make it into a little cute sign. That will take like two seconds, so I just need to do it. Um, this I featured in our girls night out. If you guys did not watch it, it's on Amazon. It was with me, Tiff, and my friend Jen. Um, but these are really awesome from Amazon and I need to make some decals for them for theirs. And then I also need to make a decal for this one that is mine. Um, and then, yeah, so decals for these. I missed this, so need to go back and watch. Yep, you gotta watch the rest, the beginning of this. But, um, I've also thought these are so cool that I don't, you don't really need a koozie for them, but maybe we can make a template so you can bling them. Ooh, I could probably pattern and final them up if you get like a blank one, but I don't know. So many things you could do with these. I have another one at home, so let's just bring that to the stash. Okay, I have one of these wood trays. We did a bunch of these. I'm not sure if I want to do this, but something. When I find a purpose, that's when I decide to do something like I really want to do it um so give me a purpose for that the knife could be chef Louis's knife from little mermaid that would be so cute so I could like um I could like just put them together too somehow so there's like dingle hopper and a knife but chef Louis uh Sebastian being scared on it oh that would be cute um not seeing a whole lot of crafting going on. No, I'm not crafting. I'm just showing you guys and getting an idea of what we should do first. <laughs> and I literally just wanted you guys to see all this stuff so you guys could be like, okay, she's got stuff to do. So she's gonna hopefully be doing it. Okay, the next one I wanna do, and this would have to be a video all in itself, is how to make um, screen printing out of mesh and embroidery hoops. <sighs> An HTV basically is what you use so again it's like that would make a really good tutorial on how to do that but am I ever gonna get around to filming it I don't know I don't know the next one is a Mickey favor box and it's just three boxes like this art mine so they're from Michaels and I was going to assemble them and then assemble the lids or somehow make it so that the lid comes off maybe separately, I don't know. And then do some flowers on it, powder and vinyl, um, turn it into some sort of cute farmhouse -y Mickey. Like uh, Tiff was over at my house the other day and she was like, you have so much Disney stuff that I never even noticed. And I was like, yes, that's the goal is to not be like over the top cheesy the Disney but have hidden Mickeys everywhere and one of my favorite things is during the holidays um so maybe I'll make like a fall decor box out of this because I don't mind Mickey being really prevalent during the holidays because he's super cute and like all the fall decor but um so we'll make a fall decor box out of this 
but I, when kids come over, they notice like, oh, the Mickey wreath is so cute. And I know how many hidden Mickeys I have in my house. And so I tell them like, there are actually 24 hidden Mickeys in my house. So when you're here, make sure you look for them. But then I add some every year too. So you don't even know how many are gonna be there this year. Uh, maybe I'll do a hidden Mickey tour on a reels this year when I get my fall decor up because there's a lot of them. Okay, this one is, what is that? Okay, sorry, that just scared me. It looked like a tarantula, but it's really just a piece of black string. These are rocks from Israel. And um, Dustin went to Israel in, let's see, is there a date on this? I don't even know. He just, this is what he does. He's like, look it, I got all these cool things. I'm like, cool, let me make you something with them. And then I don't. And this is probably one of the, like the cheats and needs a thing. So do I make ornaments out of these? Um, do I make a picture frame and put a picture of him in Israel and glue them to the frame? I feel like that's so like, like just basic crafting. Um, but something um, that is so cool is that is so fun, not an in your face Mickey house. No, nothing is really in your face. I don't do like, I don't do like everybody walk in and you have to wear a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse shirt or hat. It's very like um, classy Mickey, I like to say. But um, what do I do with these? Israel rocks. Do I make him ornament? Like I love making ornaments with memory stuff like this because then you just put it away. You don't have to look at it all year. You don't have to put it, you don't have to dust it all year. So then it just comes out during Christmas. You remember, and then you put it away. Um, picture frame would be a good idea, but it's pretty standard. A shadow box with a few compartments, one with rocks and others with photos. Um, I actually have a couple shadow boxes. I just remembered in my frames dash. I have a whole nother stash just with frames. I've never liked shadow boxes. I don't know why. I just, I've always wanted to do them, but I just never have gotten into doing them. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, I have this apple for back to school. So definitely need to use one of our back to school SCGs on it. Um, maybe a teacher. I'm only going to be teaching one kid now. My Landis is going to high school. So if you guys want more of that story, let me know. Um, you could do something with the tray with the rocks. Ooh, maybe I'll, yeah. Okay, okay, I feel you. Let me put the rocks in the tray so I can remember that we could do something with this. Ooh, okay, I like that idea. I like where that's going. Um, ooh, poison apple. Okay, let's turn this into a poison apple. I like that idea. Speaking of, I have this lounge fly wallet that I wanted to bling. I don't like this size wallet because it doesn't hold your cash like sideways. Um, so I never ended up using it. I think I got it in my blinging stage when I wanted to bling something and I just never did. So this is gonna be a cute gift for somebody, but I'm gonna bling it up and I'm gonna give it for Christmas. Um, but I could definitely do a poison apple and it has a little embroidered or like She's stamped on here with a little apple right here too. So I could definitely put some bling in the stamped part. I sent you a picture over Instagram to show you an idea for rocks. Ooh, I'll have to look at it. Okay, what's the next thing? I have so many dumb things. Okay, I already showed you that. Um, okay, this just needs to be finished being blinged. This is a Minnie Mouse pouch that I got on Amazon and I blinged the bow and then I started blinging her face. I probably should have just stopped at the bow because I'm not, I don't have time to finish her face, but we can do it together if you want me to. Um, I also have the Mickey luggage tag, which we blinged the mini luggage tag, but I, I might just bling his tongue red just to keep it simple. Um, and then I have the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse OG hat that I got off of the discount site. Did anybody remember what it's called? It's called like Rachel's, hold on, let me see. It's called like Rachel's Discount Disney something. How has it almost been an hour? I'm in a lot of Disney groups. Uh, what is it? Discount? I hate Facebook. I can't find it. 
for the second. In a, wait, does no no? Anybody remember what it's called? It's called like Rachel's Treasure Disney Shopping something. Um, it's almost been an hour because you have so much stuff. I know. Um, time flies when you're having fun talking about crafts, right? Sharon's Sharon's Disney. Okay, thank you, Sharon. Sharon's Disney Outlet Shopping is where I get all my Disney Parks stuff that is on clearance, and it's really cool. She has, like, a form you fill out. She posts pictures every day of what's there. Takes her a little while because sometimes she has to go multiple times to buy things because they will only allow you to buy so, so much stuff. Okay, so I want to bling these ears. Or I just want to have – I just wanted this because I was – I want to bling – something on it but i was like that's the cutest hat ever i'm not a huge disney parks hat fan but this one is super cute um okay this black backpack if you guys don't subscribe to landis her channel is kind of dead she doesn't do much over there but um she made a disney backpack out of a, a pink one or a white one and i wanted to make a mock-up lounge fly bag too with this one this is from amazon um but I don't even know. Okay. Uh, then I have this. Where did I get this from? Minnie Mouse. Oh, I got this from Amazon too. I was going to bling up her bow. It's just a fanny pack because fanny packs are amazing. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't even get through like talking about this stuff in an hour. How am I going to craft with it? I have this Monsters, Inc. lunchbox. And I want to turn it into a backpack. But... I could just put straps on it. Oh, the Monsters Ink Cup. How cute. I forgot that was in there. Um, this is a koozie and has a little door on it. So I wanted to turn this into, look, it's a little, it has a little pocket. You could put your, like your iPad in or your little mini iPad or whatever, but I wanted to turn this into a backpack, but I didn't want to just stop there. I needed it to be like, cause obviously we could just sew, sew some straps onto it, but I want it to be innovative. Like a tum, I don't know. I don't know. But I, it's so cute. I got it at the Disney outlet. Um, Landis and I drove like an hour and a half one time to go to a Disney outlet thinking it was like the one that Sharon shops at. And it's not. It's just a Disney store with some sale items. So there's that. But it was a fun outing. Um, it looks so vintage. Oh, the book. Okay. The book is, I have two of these. This I got at the Disney store and it's a little art kit and it has all these pens in it and it's super cute and I got it to make little Bujo covers out of but I um, also felt bad because I was like I could just give this to somebody because I don't know. I don't know but I want to get a little bit more creative than just making it a Bujo cover um, but it's a book and they have these at the Disney store. This is the Bell one. Um, I have, I think, the Disney Princesses one, but it's, like, poofy. It's, like, a little poofy, like, old-school books. So it's kind of cool, but you can do so many things with it. Um, my friend just gave me a ticket to shop at the Employee Disney Store. I'm so excited. Do it. Get all the things. Okay, I have this wine box. It's been, like, sitting in your faces this whole time um, that I used for the chalk paint video, but I never actually finished it. So I want to make this for somebody, um, but finish it. I want to stencil it, or maybe we make an icon art stencil with the wine times wine with a wine size printout, um, something on the front of it. So it would be good to keep your Bible in. Yes. So that's also another thing that I kind of thought of um, to put your Bible in, especially my Bible's like falling apart almost to the point where I can't even take it around. Does anybody know a good book recovering or Bible recovering bit, uh, company? Because my Bible is literally like, the one that I love is literally falling apart. Okay, then I also got these. I got these for summer crafting on Amazon, but I didn't do them because they ended up doing the home science. But these are outdoor 
pillow covers, which we made some in the last craft your sash and they're so cute. So I needed to make a couple more, um, but they're covers so you could take them off and change them for the season. But then I also got the pillows that go in them so that I could just buy the covers from now on and I don't have to buy the pillows. I think there's four in here. I haven't opened it because they're sucked in. Yes, there's four. Are they, they're not square, are they? No, they're 12 by 20. They say square pillow. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. So this is wrong. <laughs> and I'm a nerd. Um, okay, so these are rectangles that should say rectangle. But rectangle pillows for by our pool, but I also want to get some more of these for another round and do some fall decor ones because the one thing I learned about our pool is summer is really fun, but I think fall is and spring are going to be really where we like to hang out outside because it's so hot right now. Um, Tiffany blue is so pretty. Yes, and that's actually more teal than Tiffany blue. The Tiffany blue one I got that I ended up doing the other one on was the one I actually got to do Return to Mickey and Co. on. So um, I'm ready for fall too. I second the need for a place to send my Bible to to get recovered or rebound. Okay, so do we have anybody who's ever rebound a Bible or recovered a Bible? I'll just show you guys. It I don't take it anywhere anymore because it like the cover is like leaves stuff. It falls off of it. So I feel bad because I always use my phone Bible and I like my Bible. Okay. Uh then I have this bin of dollar store things to blink doesn't excite me but maybe if I get Landy Pandy here for a side hustle she can bling these but I got so oh I think some of this is from five below too look at these these are such cute gifts though from five below it's got um I know I'm extra and it has an avocado on it but like if you have any friends who are doing keto you could bling this and then get them some like I don't know, something that goes along with the keto lifestyle. This is how we roll and it's a little sushi roll. Um, these are from Five Below. I think these are from the dollar store. I don't even know. But I just grabbed little things that would be fun to bling for people like a calculator, um, glasses case, clips, little magnet jar thingies that go on your, I didn't even know they have these at the dollar store and I bought one. I didn't know it was a magnet. Is that a magnet? Ooh, I didn't know they had that at the dollar store. Um, pins. I think I got these at Five Below too. They're like superhero pins and you can bling them or you don't have to bling them. Hair, hair things. Just random cheap stuff that I wanted to bling. Put it in a bin. Um, I don't want a new Bible. I just want a new Bible cover. I want my Bible to be rebound and covered. Um, is this part of craft your stash stuff? Sorry, late. Yes, this is all stuff that I'm going to be hopefully trying to get done in the next two weeks. If we don't, it's going bye-bye. And I don't know where it's going to go, but hopefully someone else sees the vision in it. Um, but that's not the case. We're going to finish all of it. Then I have an old Ansia sound art canvas. I think it's my last one left. And I was doing this like eight layered, Rapunzel thing on it and it's just it was taking forever and it has a hair stuck in it I think I'm done with this. So I don't know what I want to do with this, but it's a canvas. That is a Plays music. It's a bluetooth speaker um, and I worked with them a long time ago and I have one left over and I didn't finish this so something on a canvas that plays music um I think we need to do a giveaway, Tay, <laughs> right? Um, my mom's favorite, what is? Five Below has white journals that work with sublimation. Ooh, good to know. Okay, then I got, then I have these little wood things. I think Michael sent me these too. So just some wood little signs. Not sure what to do with those yet. And then I have these cute XOXO you and me hello little frames that I was gonna do pictures in and some flowers. But if I could do something cuter with it, it would be fun maybe put them maybe like adhere them to the box this box and oh that would be so cute i could adhere this to like one of these 
And then I could actually get a couple more boxes and do like gifts. But this would be such a cute um, way to like propose to your bridesmaids or whatever. I don't, so I don't know. Do a little frame on the box, put the picture in the box, put, and then put the little kit in there or something. But I don't know if this is like a baby box I could do. Um, like the sonogram picture or picture of them. I don't know. You could do so many things, but, or something else with these. I don't know. Um, I printed, sorry. I printed my, she just start writing down all the projects they have to get done. We'll see if that happens. Exactly. Do it. Then I have this welcome sign. I got this at the Target dollar spot. Or no, I think I got this at the dollar store, honestly. Not sure what to do with that. And then I have this. So this is actually what I was thinking possibly could work and it might be too big. I think it is. I got this make your own A5 ring binder mechanism replacement kit because I wanted to make my own planner, A5 planner. Ooh, it might fit. And I was thinking putting it in one of these might be fun, but I don't think I, I think it's a little too big. It's a little too big. So maybe making a Thomas Kincaid cover somehow and making our own A5 planner because you know, we're gonna have tons of planner printables. So for me, I love printing out pages and using loose leaf paper, but then I like to organize it. So making my own A5 planner is something that I've always wanted to do. I wanna do it right though. Um, will I be doing any more five in one heat press videos, how it works and how you like it? Yes, I, um, I will be, but I'm actually in the market for a more sturdy one. I like that one a lot. It works great. I don't, I haven't sublimated in a while. It works amazing for sublimation, but I'm not probably going to do any more like unboxings of it. If I did more, I would do like another brand just to see like compared how it works but i it's on amazon if you guys did miss that it's over on amazon i have this bucket that i wanted to do for the dogs um and i have this ring bell for service that lost its back this is more of like a fix it but i also need to add a bell to it i lost the bell we bell trained hunter and he did so good <laughs> okay Okay, he did amazing at bell training. We're over an hour, so I gotta wrap this up. And, but when he was a puppy, it was a little high for him. So he would like throw his whole body into the window to hit it. And I had to raise it up and he would get fresh. I don't remember how we lost the bell. The bell got lost somehow. It got like taken into the backyard somehow, probably by a kid or something. We lost the bell, but he actually trained himself to throw his body into the window <laughs> versus ringing the bell. So now when he needs to go potty, there's no bell there. He literally just like hits the whole window with his body. So there's that, it works, bell training works. But if I could have kept the bell around, but he also got trained on the sound of the bell. So he will ding our, um, our, what is it called? Fireplace. What are those things that you clean the fireplace with? It's like a thingy, but when you hit it, it makes a dinging sound. So he also hits that when he needs something. So he hits that or he throws his body into the mirror, the window, um, because he was looking for this. And this is what we trained him on when he was little. We wanted to train Ollie on it. Ollie is in a whole nother world. He's like, he just barks at you when he needs to go out. And then I have this little chainsy sign that came on this, um, on the, it says doggy toys paws off, which is really cute, but it just doesn't look, it's, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I liked that it was a bone and I thought I could always reuse it to make another dog sign. Um, thank you. This is actually, uh, it's a mix of wallpaper and we painted it and the floral black and white back there is contact paper from the dollar store. So I am, and then this is wallpaper, and then these are painted. So, but I now, after doing that whole project, love wallpaper. Okay, I have some shot glasses as well from the dollar store, which I thought would be cute to vinyl up if we've got some time. And wall hooks that I got at the Target dollar spot that reminded me of Pixar. So, might do those. 
probably here and do a book on Pixar here up there that we're working on. And that's it. That is it. I mean, oh wait, I lie. I have this mug and don't hate me, Stephanie. I have the keychains you sent me for my birthday that you wanted me to bling and I have to bling them. They got put into this mug and I'm like, I'll bling them before I put them on anything. And y'all know I suck at blinging. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna bling. We're gonna try to get some bling done this week. And I got the new liquid fusion. I don't know where it went. I moved the backdrop a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna try out the glue that everyone loves. Um, you can use alcohol paints on the glasses. I have those too. I should try that. I found wall hooks that are perfect to hang Mickey ears on. Ooh, where are these? These would probably be good for Mickey ears, huh? I didn't even think of that. Um, okay, that's it. What are you most excited for? What do you want to see me make? Okay, look at this. We're going to hang Mickey ears up there on Pixar Pier with these. <sighs> Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> that's why I need you guys. I love you guys. But I have to doctor these up because they need to be doctored. They need to be doctored. Okay, what do you want me to start on? We're going to do some crafting tomorrow. Um, I'll be live on and off all week. I'll also be on Amazon on Wednesday doing paper flowers. So I'm gonna try to incorporate some of this into that um, and put paper flowers on something that we do. But I'm new to your channel. How do we know when you're going to have a mystery box or your new way of doing mystery boxes? Um, that's part of the mystery is we don't necessarily always know when they're gonna come out but the next one should be around the beginning of September. So the best way to be involved in my life is to follow me here Mondays, 10 a.m. PST. This is where I try to cover all the scoop and catch you up on everything. And then also newsletters. So sign up to newsletters. They're free on my face, on my antitay.com. Even if you're not a member, you'll get those emails, but it is a lot of talk to my members. So, if you want to know what it's like to be a member, become a member for a month. But um, the Tumblr utensils and maybe some back to school crafts, that would be fun. Sign up for emails on our website. Yep. There's a certain UV resin that I did use before every time I used it and got on my skin, it started to give an allergic reaction. Yeah. It's all chemicals. So just be careful with whatever you do. Do you know the times for the rest of the week when you'll be crafting? Most likely morning time. Um, I'm the most energized in the morning right now lately. So um, I've just been waking up super early and I'm pretty shot by like midday now. So, um, but I also was sick. So I'm still trying to kind of recover from that. Mornings, I'll try to be live at least once every morning this week. Um, and if I'm doing a live video that like is one craft that I want to just show off that craft, I'll go live a couple times. So not to take away from that video and that craft, cause I will try to hang out with you guys, but I also want to showcase the craft that we're making too. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow morning, starting with, I really want to make the backpack wishables ears, but uh, maybe I'll start with the vinyl crafts so that I can make sure to get those ones done because we know how much I don't want to do those ones. I'm thinking I'm going to use your Wicked Sub Design for a candy bag for Oogie Boogie Bash. If you're going, okay, that would be cute. I was going to say, I forgot, Oogie Boogie Bash is like a place you go. <laughs> I was like, if you're doing an Oogie Boogie Bash, we have the Oogie Boogie Banner too. Um, okay, new files just came out for the next three months check them out we're gonna craft with them the next three months with you guys um and there i'm still converting old files over to new files i'm finding a lot of really fun stuff that have been in the vault for a while too so you might see even new stuff over on the regular pages um i won't probably do much to share show those off but if they happen to be things i want to use um then i'll use them but other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you later. Bye-bye.